Good morning. Thank you for coming. I'm Christopher Hart, the acting chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board. The National Transportation Safety Board is the federal agency that investigates transportation accidents in all modes, and that's what we're here for today, is to investigate the loss of the reusable launch vehicle and the fatality and injury that occurred as a result of that. I would like to start by extending my condolences to the loved ones, to, to those who lost the loved one, the pilot, and to make best wishes for a speedy recovery for the other crew member. I would also like to thank Sheriff Donnie Youngblood for protecting the site through the night, missing Halloween with their children, protecting the site. That was an amazing accomplishment because I understand I have not been there yet. I understand it's a large area and, and he has protected it. So thank you, Sheriff Youngblood, for doing that. Our team from the NTSB just arrived this morning, so we will begin the investigation today. As we speak, there is an organizational meeting led by the in investigator in charge, whose name is Lorenda Ward, and, at the, and she has extensive experience in accident investigation. And she will be, she's accompanied by specialists in a variety of areas, structures, systems, engines, vehicle performance, operations, and they will form groups at this organizational meeting that is happening as we speak to address each of these issues. So that organizational meeting is going on as we speak, and then after that is over, they will begin the activities. The data people will go to the data source and check the data. Some will go to the site. Some will begin investigating witnesses. All of the steps that we need to do to begin the on-site portion of the investigation. I intend to have a press conference later today after the people have started the investigative process to reveal what we have learned thus far and I will intend to do that regularly to, to keep everyone apprised of the information that we have gleaned in our investigative process. So please check the website ntsb.gov and our Twitter feed at NTSB to find out exactly when and where that first press conference today will occur. So having just arrived this morning, we don't have any substantive information yet, but if you have any process questions, I'd be happy to take them. Again, thank you for coming to cover this event. How different is this investigation from the typical investigation that NTSB does? The question is, how different is this investigation from the typical investigation that the NTSB does? This has many similarities and some differences. It has some of both for us. What are some of the differences? Some of the differences is that this was a space launch vehicle and this is the would be the we participated in the launches of the Challenger and the Columbia but we this is this will be the first time we have been in in the lead of a space launch that involved persons on board is there a black box in this vehicle the question is is there a black box in this vehicle i'm not sure the answer to that yet i, I we'll find that out probably today any further you know questions altitude this uh the question was the altitude of the mishap. I don't know that kind of information yet. We will find that out very quickly because this was a this test this was a test flight, and test flights are typically very well documented in terms of data. And we may get some video feed. We we may have lots of evidence that will help us with the investigative process, and we we appreciate that. That will make our job simpler and make us able to find out not only what happened, but also more importantly why it happened so we can make recommendations to try to prevent it from happening again. Do you know if you have any telemetry from the ground? Um, have they sent, they had a control center or something of that sort that you can help with? The question is, do we have any telemetry? And we will find that out today. Do not know the answer to that yet. One more question, and then we need to move on. How big is your team? How big is our team? I believe we have somewhere between 13 and 15 investigators. Is that a standard size for? It, this, and the question is, is that a standard size? The size depends on the complexity of the mission. And it, because this has some new aspects for us, we wanted to make sure we covered all of the bases. Thank you very much for coming. We will have our press conference this afternoon. Thank you.